the display um, mimics your phone. So as you see, it's got all the icons and things from your phone. One of the greatest features is the texting. Obviously, you shouldn't text and drive. However, this allows it to read new messages. Who do you want to send it to? It'll ask you who you want to send messages to. It'll ask you what message you want to send. It will ask you, um, it'll read back the message to you and you're able to send it off. It's the greatest feature ever. Um, the other features that are on here, of course, and things like the GPS, it'll connect to Google Maps, it connects to Waze, it's able to tell you if there's a traffic accident or backed up traffic, reroute you. It also gives the passenger and the driver their own climate control, individual. It also does an economy for the road. So if you're trying to save a little bit of gas, it does it in, in an economy mode. And in here, greatest feature I didn't have in my 10 year old car was telling me how many miles I have left until my gas tank is empty. That's awesome. So it seems very simplistic, but it, it saved me going to Orlando. <laughs> and it does have heated seats for those very few cold days that you have in Florida. I had somebody already tell me the heated seats are good if you have some back issues. So for like the lumbar support and things like that, where the heat comes out, it almost massages your back. Very comfortable. You've got a lot of space up here. You have a lot of room. As you can see, you know, my big thing with the windows, the windows are huge. Um, you can have great visibility. Your side windows are great. Other little feature that I never had that again, a lot of people do is the, the blind spot indication. So if somebody is, is in your blind spot, the little light comes on to the mirror and it shows you. Again, I never realized how important that was until I took my first long trip this past weekend and people were in your blind spot and it was great. You could see them. We can put him on here. There's waves. And you can do, yes, absolutely, Google Maps. Anything that you download on your phone. I noticed the other day a friend of mine plugged their phone in um, and he had an, an odd application you know, that he uses specifically for his work and it brought up that as well. Yeah, so it kind of is picking up your phone, whatever you have for your GPS that you use. So it's very, um, very friendly to using, you know, whatever you have on your phone. If, if you're used to that, you'd be used to that on there. The screen's nice and big too, um, that you can see, zero in on the directions and the voice over. Um, again, another feature that I loved was when you're going on a long trip, when it does need to tell you, you know, you're getting off at this exit, if you're playing music, it comes over the music. It doesn't shut the music off, it lowers the music, but it comes on louder than the music, which is great. Oh, and one feature I found out this weekend that was amazing. So there's a little coffee cup that comes up on the screen. Let's say you're going to Orlando and you're going 200 miles straight on the same road. If you're going for a long time and it notices that you haven't moved, little coffee cup comes up and says, do you need a break? And I think that's the neatest thing because I love coffee and the little coffee cup just threw me the other day. It was awesome. It hasn't come up since, but I saw it and I loved it. So I thought that was really neat. And then it also shows you on the maps um, what the speed limit is. So for anybody who drives a little fast, like maybe I do every now and then, um, if you're going over the speed limit, you know, it'll show you, but it also comes up and tells you what the speed limit should be. So if you don't see a sign, you're absolutely, you know, you know, I should be doing not 70 and a 65 or something like that. Got the sunroof. It um, is tinted, which is very nice because it does tend to keep the car a little bit cooler. The car's completely tinted. And the other feature, which is really nice, is this. And I don't know if anybody else has this, but when you bring down your um, sunglass case, it's got a little mirror. And I used this this past weekend when my great niece and nephew were in the back seat of my car. I was able to see them. I thought that's awesome because you can hook it and you can see the back seat perfectly. So you can kind of see what's going on there.